Hello YouTubers and YouTubees. This is the 2006 Pontiac Torrent water pump replacement. Start, you want to drain the radiator. Connect a hose on the bottom driver's side to there. And then there's a twist valve. You start spinning it out and it'll drain. By disconnecting and taking out the air intake box. And that is 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. up on the box to get it out of this rubber mount over here rubber mount. yeah rubber mount box is out of the way you will have access to your belt the tensioner is down there what I like to do is take a picture of the routing of the belt just so you know how it goes back on leave the belt on to put tension on this pulley here so you can remove these four bolts and then worry about um, taking off the belt off the tensioner. It's really buried in there. Move these four 10 millimeter bolts off the front pulley with the belt still on to keep tension on it so they come out easier. Next after you get the pulley off you got five 8 millimeter bolts go around the outside of the water pump. Bolts going around the outside that are 8 millimeter out. There's a little tab right here on the water pump. You put a screwdriver in there and you can pry it out. Just like so. Just like downtown comes out and there's your water pump. <sighs> Look how pretty. You can use a razor blade to clean off all of the old gasket from the water pump housing so you have a nice clean surface to mount the new water pump to. Calling the new water pump, you want to look for this little notch right here. It's like a little arrow notch right on top. And that sits straight up on the top and that lines it up. It can only go on one way. While you're tightening the five bolts on the water pump there, you want to go in a star pattern to work it in little by little. So you're here, and down there, up here, over here, and just work it in little by little to get it tight. Water pump in place, and you put the pulley on, make sure you try to spin it, so it makes sure it spins freely, because if they sell you the wrong one like they did us, it will not spin. Next, put your serpentine belt back on. Refer back to your pictures that you had taken in the beginning for routing. Get your belt back on, your serpentine belt, and make sure it's in all the pulleys correctly. Then you want to put your air box back in, paying attention that these nubbins there go into the holes on the body right there. And then you got to line up one bolt here. That's how you line it up. Your airbox lid, make sure that these little latches have to go underneath here and it works like a hinge on this back side. So you lock in and then it folds down. And then you make sure you reinstall your tube here, wire connector here, and your latches are in the back. One in the back here, and one in the front. The antifreeze back up. You want to make sure you open this seven millimeter vent right here to allow the air to escape as the fluid goes in. This is uh, we filled the block. Got a bunch of antifreeze in it. What you got to do is you got to bleed off the system. This here is a seven millimeter bleeder screw. You want to loosen that. I'm going to put a clear hose on it so you can see the air coming out. We'll go from there. Air going into the hose. Bunch of air pockets. Kind of messy if we're getting the air out. This process can take upwards of an hour. 
Just let it run until you see no more air going into the tube. Then quickly remove the tube and reinstall the bleeder screw. And you're all set. Water pump is done. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.